Hey guys, today I am showing you my recipe for mini quiches, and you could very easily double this recipe to make one regular size quiche. I'm starting off by making half of a flax egg. I'm using half a tablespoon of flax seeds with one and a half tablespoons of water. Next, I'm choosing my veggies. I am going to use for the filling onions and green peppers. I've done this with broccoli, with red peppers, with corn, with mushrooms, and it's all good. You, it's really up to you what you want to use. But I'm chopping up everything real small. Don't judge my knife skills. It's hard to like get underneath the camera and then cut stuff up. It's really weird. I'll get used to it. Anyway, chopping those things up, putting them in a pan. The idea is to cook them down till like most of the water is out of them. And then I'm just chopping up the tomato, slicing the pieces in half like this, and then I'm setting that off to the side. Next, in another bowl, on top of a scale, if you have one, I'm doing 15 grams of coconut flour, and then 50 grams of almond flour. One tablespoon of oil, I'm using avocado oil, and then add the flax egg. Starting off by whisking it a little bit and then transitioning to my hand. You can season at the step as well. I'm using this one. Just mixing it until it's one big piece. Of course, you can buy store-bought crust if you want as well or no crust at all, make a frittata. Next, in the food processor goes half a block of extra firm tofu, nutritional yeast, turmeric, black salt, very important for the eggy flavor, black pepper, and some tamari. Then I'm blending that up, adding in the veggies, mixing that together. Here is the pan I'm using, my fatal error I didn't oil it. I never remember to oil pans like this. And whenever I make the quiche in a, a big pan, I never oil it and it comes out totally fine, but definitely oil. <laughs> Just pressing the dough in there, giving each of them a good poke. And you don't have to cook it beforehand. You can go right ahead and put the filling in. Smooth it out. And then I'm just placing the tomatoes on top. Also optional. Cooking that in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. 40 minutes if you're making one large quiche. And here's me trying to pop <laughs> the pieces out. It still tasted great. It tasted exactly the same. It just wasn't as pretty as it usually is. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. I hope you try this out. My family loves this recipe. I make it for like every holiday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.